I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about Little Boozy says that Jay-Z wanted him to apologize to Dwayne Wade over the statements he made about his son, Zion. Little Boozy refused to apologize. I have a lot of respect for Little Boozy because he stand on his word. He stand on his square. Even though Little Boozy is under a lot of pressure, he may lose endorsements, he may lose gigs, because you know how powerful the gay mafia is in the entertainment industry. But it's a time every man has to stand on his square. We saw Snoop Dogg not stand on his square. We saw Snoop Dogg almost break down in tears over the Gail King incident. But Little Boozy said he's not even going to apologize to God. Now that's something strong to say right there. But Little Boozy was basically saying, I believe I'm right when it comes to Dwayne Wade's son, Zion. That he should not do that. He should let that young man grow up and let him make his own decision when he's 18 years old. But Jay-Z snicks his nose in it. You know, Jay-Z has joined that gay mafia. He now supports an industry in which back in his old music, he used to use derogatory terms towards the gay community. But you see how quickly the gay mafia coexists or co-ops the hip-hop industry. If you say anything negative in a song about the gay mafia, you will be apologizing the next day. But if you use the nigga word, if you say I'm going to kill a brother, if you say I'm going to smack a sister, that's okay. But you can't use any of those derogatory terms towards gay people. But little Boosie, to me, is acting like a man. And that's what more has to happen in the black community. We have to start standing on our square. We can't be apologizing as black men like we steal back in Jim Crow, that we steal back in slavery. Sorry, master, sorry, master. No, we don't apologize no more. We got somebody in the White House who won't apologize for anything. He stand on his square every day. Why can't we? What it, what, what it's going to do to us? They going to take what little, little Boosie has? Is that the intimidation that they using? That they can control our free speech and the way we think? You telling me we going to let a minority that's less than 2 or 3% control what we say in our community? Or are we going to jump on that train and be part of something God says was against his word? He talked about man and woman. He didn't mention anything else. So Little Boosie is right on this one. And Little Boosie going to get a lot of respect from the brothers in the hood. Yes, Little Boosie has been out of line sometimes. But on this one, the brother is in line with most black men think in America. And we should respect Little Boosie. And this Jay-Z character is now nothing but a puppet of Hollywood, a puppet of the entertainment industry, a puppet of the deep state. And he's going to promote their agenda so he can get ahead. You see all these guys in hip hop are now supporting the agenda that they didn't support 10, 15 years ago because the word is out. If you don't support our agenda, you won't work. You won't make no money. And it seems like anyone who's willing to take away your money, willing to take away your deepest principles for a dollar, they will never have any respect for you. But one person they will have respect for is Little Boosie. Because Little Boosie now has got a bigger fan club of black men and black women all around the country who believe in marriage between a man and a woman who believes that if a child can't make a decision at 12 years old, that when he's 18, he can make any decision he wants long as he's out of my house. I want to congratulate little Boosie. You got my support. 
and you got plenty of black men support on YouTube. So don't back down now, because they're going to come at you. They're going to try and take everything from you, okay? Stand on your square, and we will support you. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Share this video.